Okay. Good morning, beautiful and blessed family of the He and Herod's family. God bless you. Have you all been doing? I'm so excited to be back on Facebook. So excited uh, for a while. We locked out, but now we are back to the glory of the Lord. I've been so, so busy, but I'm super happy to be back here. God bless you all. I hope you've been doing real good. Um, Sister Tammy, how are you doing? Um, all of you all. If I start mentioning names, then we may not be able to do what we want to do. Uh, I just want to bless you this morning. I want to speak the word of the Lord into your life, and I believe that you all be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to sing this song first, and you can sing along with me uh, wherever you are in your office, in your living room, um, on the road, anywhere you are watching this right now. God bless you. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. You know, first we have to say good morning to our Father in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. It is well with you all in Jesus' name. Uh, if you have your Bible, whether or not you have it, I just want to speak about God, our strength and our refuge. God is a faithful God. He changes not, he will yet not. There is no searching of his understanding. You know those times when I couldn't come online, there were lots of and lots of messages, where is he and I do the evangelist of all is well. Everything is fine. As long as you have God, you have everything. He's a pillar of strength and of support. He's a faithful God. Uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy plans against you or the arrow he fires at you. As long as you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you will abide under his shadow. It will be your refuge and it will be your fortress. Uh, I'll be reading Psalm 46 very quickly this morning um, from verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. It does not matter what you're going through. Is a present help. Talk to God about anything. You know, I have tried the power of God in many ways. There are times when I'll misplace a particular uh, document or key or something. And when I start looking for it and can't find it, I start praying to God. And immediately, I don't know, miraculously, I'll be led to where I'll find this document or this key. Or the same thing happened when I wanted to get back on Facebook. And I said, God, I really need to... <laughs> Facebook, I have so many wonderful fans and, you know, followers on Facebook. And Facebook is just my, Facebook is my church, is where my followers fellowship with me. There's so much connection with people on Facebook and on Instagram, you know, but we are stronger on Facebook. And so I began to talk to God. I can't lose these people. I can't lose this friendship, this fellowship. And... You know, miraculously, we got back. We got back. So, it says, God is our refuge and our strength, a present help in time of trouble. When you call on him, he will answer you. It says, therefore, we will not fear. Though the heart be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, it does not matter what the devil does concerning your life. It does not matter what you are going through right now. Always know that the Lord is your strength, and you cannot be afraid of anything or anybody animals, human beings, beasts, whatever, you can't be afraid. It says, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. It says, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High God. It says, God is in the midst of her. Praise the Lord. It says, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. I, I, I sometimes feel like her, that Naomi 
cannot be moved. That Ehen cannot be moved. That Erad's family cannot be moved. That every one of you cannot be moved. That I will not lose anyone. I won't lose a child in the ministry. I won't lose parents in the ministry. I won't lose fathers. I won't lose mothers. I won't lose family and friends. I will not lose aunties. We shall not be moved. Whatever happens will continue to be strong. It says God shall help her. God has been my help and my support. You know, it's been seven years already. October um, marks the seventh year since we have started to do public ministry. And you know, public ministry and God has been faithful. I mean, the steadfast love of the Lord does not cease. His mercies are new every morning, every day. His faithfulness is so mighty. It's so great. I tell you, I'm super excited. And we are going to be celebrating it in a very big way. How many of you want to join me for that celebration? How many of you all? It's going to be powerful. Just, just wash out, keep your hairs to the ground, and you would hear something very big and wonderful. Because it's worth celebration. Because God has been faithful. I tell you, God has been faithful. Uh, despite all that the enemy does to see that we do not be a threat to the kingdom of darkness, <laughs> he's been so faithful. He's so faithful. Although until they call Tauri Wamu, only Ogo, Fung Olon Wamu, you know, most of the time the enemy comes at us wanting his own plan to materialize in our life. You know, ara egbegba ope mi o, eba mi begba ope mi o, eshu ogbogo lori aye mi, eh, eba mi begba ope mi o. We are going to be praising God, we are going to be exalting Him, we are going to be shouting His name because He is the lilies of the valley. The rose of Sharon, ewa ogo na umi, maje mu ipe, olon ti ki doji tine, a tine le yi, kojumati, we need to thank him. You need to celebrate God with me. I know a lot of us are willing and ready to celebrate God. I, I and I will celebrate God in your life too in Jesus' name. We will all have cause and reasons to bless God. It says God is in the midst of her. I love this place. I love this place. It says she shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early he says the earth in which the kingdoms were moved he uttered his voice the earth the the head melted the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge praise the lord he says come behold the works of the lord what desolations he had made in the head he maketh wars to cease unto the ends of the head he breaked the bow and cut the spear in sunder he burned the chariot in fire be still and know that i am god i will be exalted among the heaven and i will be exalted in the head god must be honored must be honored must be honored I say Jesus must be or not in my life every day. Praise the Lord. God will be exalted among the heaven. El Rio Golua. Be a sheti rini or not here with tea, Barry. All on my fear, I hon. Ninu I ye me, Ninu I ye tea. You want to woo me, you want to bomb me. All on my fear, I hon. You will see God and you will know that indeed is God. I have seen Him. I just need you to come join me this month, the ending of this month, to exalt him, to praise him, and it's going to be powerful. You will see God so close to you. You will see him so dear to you, like a friend, like a family, like a brother, because he is the most high God. I, I, don't, I don't know how to qualify him again. I don't know how to qualify him again. He is the most high God. He is the most high God. I, I exalt him this morning and I would exalt him in your life and we will give him praise together in Jesus' mighty name. I just want you to know that he is God. Do not be shaken. Whatever happens to you, know that God is somewhere which he is waiting for you to take you by the hand and lead you through that wilderness onto the path of righteousness. Oamuki mana komaro bioju is that God? Are you stalked? 
Are you wondering how you will ever get out? Are you wondering if that's all for you? If the light of God will not shine again? Let me tell you. Oh, mumu se kuro la ari ilu ni bi ti won ti ni o n gbogbo mire mire o wa mu lo sinu agiju ninu agiju yen o wa nfi agbara ha let me tell you there are certain things you really need to go through in battle God shows his strength be ni o po ni pa ti agbara ninu ogun lo ti ma fa agbara ha nigba mi to gun o ba ja eniyan eyan o kin ri olorun it happens he told Moses, he, 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 he told him, I would lead you and your people to the wilderness. Sometimes we say deliverance. And after deliverance, we are expecting everything to go smooth. And then suddenly it looks like we are stopped. Let me tell you. You know that he sent them to the wilderness. Ah, ah. And they began to say to Moses, let us go back and stay. We, at least we still have social amenities. At least we can still eat stuff. But in this place, we can see and Moses looked at God and God said, what is in your hand? Always look up to me. Let me tell you, whatever happens, look up to God. And you will see him. And they were so blessed of God. Am I talking to somebody this morning? You may be that person wondering, I just prayed. And I'm expecting everything. Mufeki ono yen kula. Owa ho piwa jo pi ono yen wa ta koko si ono no to gun ijileshi. You will see God. Emi ti rulu wa ujo ko si bi giga. Asho e gun wa are. Oku ini o tempili. Emi ti ri o wano lono. Mo ti ri o jure re re. I wano o mari. La gbara o lono. O ta to ba ni ko ma ri. O ta ni to ba ni to ba ni ko ma la lo yon. Ele yi to ba ni ko ma jive. Bo gun o lono lono ma. Because Olorun se fun awon mo Israel o ti awon ota e si okun igbagbe nigbati won sori kunku ota to ba ntele e bi esin to nle oku wo sare loruko Jesu Olorun Israel ma je mu ipe ti o yi pada Olorun to sun awon ota Israel sunu okun loruko Jesu a so won sunu okun a le yo iwo jade to ren to ropo lo o fe lo ku yen ku mo po fe lo yi ni nigbati won ropo won ma lo ro so mi ni ta won ta won ropo won fe lo ku so kun ni Olorun I don't have much time this morning, but I want to pray for you. Father, we bless your name because you are God. We thank you because you change it not. And we thank you for the great privilege to be back on here and to be back to my people. Be thy exalted in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that with your word this morning, you will bless us all. I ask that you will touch lives. And today will be a remarkable day in the lives of everyone even those who are not listening or seeing me right now, I pray that you will bless them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Cause your light to shine upon everyone and let favor speak for everyone in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name because we have had an answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. I'm just so excited this morning, but I have to go.